Oh hi! Welcome to another edition of Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Things with Socrates. Today we're taking a look at how to upgrade a Creality CR10, in this case a version 3. The filament breakage sensor is a little bit fiddly to use and difficult to get the filament to go into. I find that I have my filament on a rack on the right side but if you enter the filament this way, it becomes in easier, so I curve the filament to get it to go in from the left. But then you have to get it through the two roller beams, and I found that always to be a bit fiddly and annoying. And since I do in fact own a 3D printer, which allows you to create your own specific bespoke items, I ended up creating this. It is a small guide that guides the filament from the sensor through the two rollers. It fits over the roller pins and it guides the filament into the rollers. I find it works extremely well. It's a simple little print. It took a couple iterations to make and it's a nice concept and design by the way. Uh, to design something like this I knew I had the two pins to work with so my first step was to make a hole that fit around the pin. The first hole I made was a little bit too small and a little too close together so the second set of holes was almost perfect. After that, I just increased the size of the base for what I thought the shape should look like. And from then, I started to work on the funnel. I added a couple angles to make the funnel easier to go through. That mostly worked. All it needed was a cross beam to make the whole thing perfect. Added the cross beam, and then a second change later, I ended up, like I say, with this simple piece. It's got a funnel on the top and a nozzle on the bottom. Works great. Simple to print. And for design, I use SketchUp. I personally use the 2017 Make uh, version, the offline version. I like to be able to do it wherever I am and have my own files. I also do a vertical build method. Basically, I start with the bottom piece, and every time I iterate, I copy it or simply move it up, make a new version of it, making sure it's unique if it's a component and all the internals are either unique or not getting changed. And then I basically build vertically. That's my method for building. And the piece itself, it's really easy to install. You just pop off the two, uh, two roller pins. There are little Allen keys. And you remove the two rollers and slip the piece in its place. Put the two rollers back. And you're done. The piece should slip right in. And the filament should go right through. And it makes your life a whole lot easier. You can get it on Thingiverse. If you're using a Corality uh, and you have this thing, it'll help. And you can always modify it for your own personal use. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, why not like this and like it on Thingiverse. That helps a lot. And uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you the next time. I'm going to go print something. Actually going to go for a bike ride because it's still summer in the Netherlands. We don't get this very often. Global warming. Yay!